developments regarding asylum seekers crossing at the southern border. There are reports that President Biden may be close to taking executive action as concerns grow about a possible spring surge of migrants crossing into the U.S. Here's ABC's Ike Jachi. President Biden considering what's being described as major new action on the southern border. An administration official telling ABC News the Biden administration is looking to potentially take executive action, making it harder to seek asylum. Under consideration, barring migrants from seeking asylum if they crossed into the U.S. illegally between U.S. ports of entry. Migrants would instead have to prove why they need to remain in the U.S. Acceptable reasons could include a medical emergency or fear of torture in their home country. The new action, if taken by the president, could put him at odds with his own party. Some Democrats compare the crackdown to Trump-era policies, but critics say the influx of migrants, which includes a growing number of people from China and other countries, poses a national security threat. In New York City, 170,000 migrants have gone through the system so far, some making headlines for their involvement in crimes, like the eight males accused of attacking two NYPD officers in Times Square last month. Our state needs the help. Our state needs the relief. We need the financial support. We need more protections at the border. And in Texas, the attorney general's office is suing to shut down Annunciation House in El Paso, a well-known Catholic volunteer organization that offers hospitality to migrants, immigrants, and refugees. Attorney General Ken Paxton accusing the nonprofit of human smuggling for providing transportation. The attorney general claiming Annunciation House knows some are in the U.S. illegally. Annunciation House hasn't responded directly to that claim, but says it's helped hundreds of thousands of refugees over the last four decades decades, saying if the work that Annunciation House conducts is illegal, so too is the work of our local hospitals, schools, and food banks. The White House is stressing no final decision has been made on any executive actions related to the border. But after House Republicans recently killed a bipartisan border security deal, the president is clearly looking to show he's trying to address this problem. In Washington, Ike Jachi for Channel 7 Eyewitness News.